Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Wow, it's such a special moment for me. For those I didn't have a chance to meet yet, my name is Camille Clément. So as you guessed, I'm French. I'm 22 years old, so I also got my 20, 20 years seniority award, but not in a deco, only on planet Earth. <laughs> And I am part of the young individuals whose life has been deeply changed a couple of months ago by a certain program called CEO for One Month. Earlier this year in April, I was looking for a summer job, either a waitress or a seller in a clothing shop. And instead, this year, I was selected among more than 54,000 applicants around the world to live the most extraordinary experience. Some of you may know it. Um, I spent first one month with Christophe Catoir, CEO of Groupe Adeco France. For those who had the opportunity to work with him, you know that he's got this talent to make you understand and want you to show the best of yourself, and I owe him a lot. Then I was selected to go through the boot camp in Amsterdam with nine other very talented young people you might have encountered in your own countries. Five of us, we made it to the finals in Tokyo, and then the journey began with Alain. I spent one entire month living the life of a global CEO with our global CEO. And yes, sometimes it's very hard for me to realize that everything happened in real life, but then I've got the stamps on my passport that remind me that, yes, I traveled in eight different countries in one month. I've got all the covers and the pages of the magazine that my mom puts everywhere in the living room. And <laughs> they remind me that I did 23 interviews and had my name quoted more than 4,000 times on social media. And most importantly for me, I've got, and I still got every week, all your emails, all your messages on LinkedIn, on Twitter, sometimes even on Facebook. And they remind me that, yes, it was an extraordinary adventure, but it was enabled by extraordinary people. And talking about people at ADECO, um, I think I noticed something quite early about you guys. <laughs> It is this extraordinary ability to combine what is really hard to combine, to combine warm passion, with rational wisdom, and to combine leadership and ambition with humility and humbleness. And this is not for everybody. To me, not everybody is able to work for this company that has such strong values and requires such commitment. And not, everybody's, not every CEO in the world is able to have the openness, the humbleness, the patience to welcome a youngster like me by his or her side during one entire month. And yet, in this room, we have 51 CEOs who did it gladly and will do it again next year. And to me, it says a lot about the managers and the spirit in this company. <laughs> so, during my time as CEO for one month, I've got so many learnings that it would be very hard for me to sum them up here on this stage, but There is one that I really would like to share with you, and it is about the CEO himself, about his full-time dedication. And if you remember earlier on Thursday, Alan told you about what has changed in his life, how intense the life pace of a global CEO is. And after spending the most tiring month of my entire life, I can tell you I wasn't able to tell anymore who was 22 years old between him and me. <laughs> and he showed me how you have to be strong-willed and disciplined to go through this rhythm, but also the unlimited passion and the very strong belief in the, projects com in the company's project that he has. And I was absolutely blown away by the, the amount of time that he gave me, although the fact that our schedule was so tight. After every review, every meeting, he was asking me for my perspective, my opinion on what I had witnessed. He listened to all my advice on talent acquisition, management, on the boundaries of the universities. And I think this is the most peculiar aspect of this program, CEO for one month. It is the fact that for the first time in my life, at 22 years old, I really felt that I had a voice and I had an impact. And this is why I would like to share a little bit with you what happened and why we were invited with Bettina and Alain in the White House. I know this is my parents' favorite part ever. And 
We were in the White House for a global apprenticeship network gathering, and we wanted to discuss youth unemployment. And there in Washington, in front of economical and political leaders, I was asked, as global CEO for one month of Adica Group, to be the voice of my generation on this topic. And to the crowd, I explained what I was doing with Alain on an everyday basis. How I was meeting every member of the board, going to all the ops reviews, the IT, finance, HR reviews. How I was meeting clients face to face, how I was interviewing candidates, and everybody there could understand the level of trust that it requires. Despite the fact that I'm not even graduated yet, and I had never worked for a big group before. And this is a very important point because today a lot of companies do not want to hire young people like me because they consider that we are lacking work experience. So how can we get our first work experience? This is what we call a vicious cycle. And to me, Adequate way to work is all about how to break this cycle, how to enable young people like me to get some very genuine work experience while we are still completing our studies, so we can break into the job market with some very solid arguments. Adequate way to work is all about stopping assessing us on only the previous names of the companies we have worked for, but starting assessing us on who we are, on our personality, our creativity, our energy, our ability to learn. Our emotional intelligence. So, in other words, our potential, and this is exactly、um, what happened with me with Adeco Way to Work. This is all the reasons why I'm able to stand here today, because、um, I found. Sorry. I found.、Uh, <laughs> I found a company who is able to tell me you are here for who you are, and this is very precious. And this is why I would like to take some time now to tell you thank you as a group for enabling young people like me to have those kind of opportunities. I would like everybody in this room to bear in mind that you are a company that is giving us, that is giving young people this kind of experience. And I wanted to let you know that young people like me are very thankful, and it's very important to say. And personally, I would like to thank you to giving me the power and the voice to act for what I stand for and what I love. Also, to learn more about what I stand for and what I love. And、um, I'm very happy to tell you that in, in January I will join the teams of Adico France to work for. <laughs> I'm going to work for a project called Horizon and helps the refugees to fulfill integration through employment. And a lot of people in this room know that this is a project that means a lot to me, especially you, Alain. And this is why my last words will be for you. Before asking you to join me on stage, I would like to tell you that better work, better life. You really made it true for me, but you also inspired me to make it true for others, just the way you do. So thank you very much, and thank you for your attention. <laughs> You can imagine how difficult it was for me to always speak after her during that month. I had no chance. And really, I learned a lot, not only to make speech in public, but also. Because thanks to these four weeks, intense weeks we we spent together, I tap into your experience, and I learned a lot about you. Not only about you, but about your generation, about the millennials. What are the triggers? What are you are looking for? 
And for sure, I challenge you, but you were always up on it. So no matter how difficult it was. So you showed me, you showed us again today, wonderful qualities, youth entrepreneurship, really proximity, energy, the quality we love at ADECO. And you allowed me to see the world of work through the eyes of the young generation. So, once more, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs>